All right, what's up, Paul Squad? Welcome back to my Hall Bank Recap Marathon. So we're going to check out another Casper recap. This is recap for Captain America the Winter Soldier. Yes or no? I did a, actually a lot of Captain America the Winter Soldier recaps, seeing people special with it. But hey, look, I got to see a special with it because it is, and this is going to be a hilarious one. So this one is called When CTE Turned the Winter Soldier from a Good Guy into a Crash Out. So that's hilarious, though, by the way. So, of course, Winter Soldier, one of my favorite super movies of all time, one of the best. And also, Get this, y'all. I'm hearing that the Russo brothers who did, who directed um, Winter Soldier, of course, who also did Captain America's of War, Avengers Endgame, and Infinity War, they in talks, in talks, not confirmed yet, but in talks, coming back to direct Avengers 5 and 6. I mean, oh my god. Stop the cap. Freaking Russo brothers is coming back for Avengers 5 and 6. If this is going to happen, that would absolutely be nuts. Because, damn it, they did such huge, huge, big, big, big favors. For the MCU, man. I mean, they they were the GOATs. The GOATs. The GOAT directors of the MCU, man. Straight up. So, Hawk Squad, what we're going to do, we're going to check out Cass's recap of Captain Mega Resolver right now. Let's check it out. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, 22 minutes. All right. So, this nigga jumps on their hood, reaches through their windshield, and pulls off the it's nigga steering wheel. Yeah. steering wheel. Bro, even Sam is looking at this nigga like, Come on, man, what the fuck are you doing, cuz? <laughs> so, today for y'all, we have this. That was crazy when you pulled off the same one. That was crazy, like, god damn, man. CTE having crash out. And it's not like we didn't see the signs that dude was a tweet. The nigga was born in the 1900s yeah. with a middle name Buchanan. He was set for <laughs> failure. So we started with Nick Fury arguing with his shorty on the phone. He tell her she need to pull up on him in about three hours. She said, hmm. yeah, and then he hangs up and then he's sitting at the light bumping that boss man deal. Straight <laughs> up presidential in a club. We ain't stopping at the lights. But the police were oh, on him and he turned that shit down instantly. Because this nigga actually going to stop at the light. If I was the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., I wouldn't have stopped at the light. <laughs> So Fury looks over and does a double take like me when I see my girl walk by. I just be standing there and my like. Oh <laughs> um, my Johnson. <laughs> And it's just two B cop. They staring at my son like it's 1960. Oh, no. That's gotta be racist. There's no <laughs> way. Like, stay on that. I can't believe these motherfuckers are free. And then oh, no. Nah, stop. Oh, my God. The police bleep their fires and then he drives off. And then somebody comes in and casually trucks his ass with a police yep. car. And then they just start ramming the fuck out of him. And, yep. him in. and then these niggas in SWAT uniforms pull up and he got a pop of steam. And then they just start dumping at his car. Shit sounded like a typical night in Chicago. And then they just so casually. As we pull out an electronic battering ram, they proceed to set up the battering ram, and Fury turns into a passenger princess because he's not riding the other seat. And then they start ramming the fuck out of yep. his car. Monkey was bouncing like the grandma from Don't Be a Mince to South Central. <laughs> I remember this movie. I love it, man. That's, that's one of my favorite comedies of all time, Don't Be a Menace. I love that movie so much. He waits for them to get his window one shot, and then he pulls a mini gun. Get a young yell. That was tough. Motherfuckers shooting grenades too. That ain't even a wildest part. Look at these niggas running. This is niggas gonna get away from Hydra. Easy as unsigned and ever. So Fury hop back in a passenger seat and takes over driving. And now he in a high speed chase. This nigga gets in traffic and he like, fuck it. I'm gonna just start ramming into cars. Yeah. When I tell you, nigga, I would be pissed. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I would. I would. And you came home from the dealership and you're brand new. And then he just drives off. And when I'm telling you, they are pulling out all the stops to kill this man. I am not playing. Cause bro hangs out the car, pulls out his gun, and starts spraying that motherfucker. Probably hitting innocence and all. But Fury <laughs> had some for his ass. Cause he was like, <laughs> Cause Fury was like, fuck it. And rams his car into him. So he hits him with the right hand. And then he sees an intersection coming. So he yeah, shoots on the brakes. And bro hanging out the car, still trying to shoot him. 
<laughs> and then they get smacked Ooh. by a Penske truck. And hey, y'all type it up. Nick Fury got away from the ass. Psych a lot! Yeah, psycho a lot. spots the winter soldier through his busted ass window. And he in front of him. And this nigga fires a disc grenade at the bottom mm. of his car and make that whole flip over. Ooh. And then he casually just moves out mm. the way. So he starts walking over slow as hell. Like, nigga, you are not Jason. Just <laughs> a step in your step because we all know Nick Fury plot armor is insane. But it was too late because Nick Fury. Oh, by the way, did y'all see that Marvel Comic Con that happened recently with um Rob Down Jr. coming back as Doctor Doom? Yes. I was shocked. I was freaking shocked. Like, wow. And also, the Russo Butters are coming back to direct the next Avengers movies, Doomsday and Secret Wars, if you've not seen it. Yo, there you go. Already busted his move and got away. And how did he cut through all that ground, <laughs> my nigga? Did he just happen to land on a sewer? Because this nigga's power armor is ridiculous. So we fast forward to Cap and he arrived at his apartment and he immediately sees his future wife. This nigga loved those Carter jeans more than his <laughs> shield because this nigga was literally talking to the niece of his ex girlfriend. Yep. And hold on now, because I know I'm not tripping. If Steve went back in the past and they claimed that he was Peggy's husband to begin with, that means that he kissed his own girl uh, niece. Wait, no way. <laughs> no, no. I already know somebody gonna be in my comments like, well, Casper, she wasn't actually his niece. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, I am not reading that 16 story penthouse. Drew Brees' neck ass message. You just type that. But Cap starts to spit the hardest game to her. And I heard her dinner and everything. But she like, thank you. But, um, damn, is she about to say no? Does she know I'm this. in America? Did you see your suit in the first Avengers movie? That shit was trash. Hell no. Yeah, yeah, you say it, it was. <laughs> It was. Hey, come on now. You know that shit was clean. No, yeah, right. no it wasn't. Well, before Cap goes back into his apartment. <laughs> that 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 suit was trash though. But I'm glad. I'm so glad he got the upgrade in in, on the, in this. She turns around and tells him that she think he left his stereo on. And then Cap starts to get weirded out because he hear boss man Dilo through the door and he an old head from the 1900. He don't be listening to that shit. So instead of going through the door, this nigga climbs through his own window and he's creeping around that bitch like he's an intruder. Shit reminded me of mystery of Batwoman when bro decided to choose peace. Hold up, let me check this room for me. Hey, who the fuck up yes. here? Is that the crap? Fuck your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Everything all good? Mm, hell no, stop sweating me, cuz. <laughs> but Cap sees it's just Fury, and he on that sitting in the dark by the lamp. Truck. Like, nigga, you are not. <laughs> so Steve goes to turn on a light, and they see this nigga Fury was getting his ass jumped, and then they do their best to talk in code. Because a little backstory for y'all, Shield done turned on my boy, and that's yep. because Hydra grew inside a Shield, and now them niggas are using a Winter Soldier to cook everybody, especially the Avengers. Yep. So Fury stands up, and he's still yapping about the same shit, and this nigga catches three gunshots through a wall. So Fury falls Damn. to the ground, and then Cap starts to pull him away, and then he spots the Winter Soldier standing outside his window, menacing as hell. Mm. So Cap neighbor busts in, the one that just shot his ass down, and then he find out all along she was just a spy for S.H.I.E.L.D., and she mm -hmm. really wasn't fucking with my nigga at all. Yeah. So Cap spots Bucky leaving, and you know he gotta look good in front of the hoes. So this nigga jumps out the window, lands inside another building. He gets up and is casually tracking Bucky and running straight through walls. Like, put this nigga on a Baltimore <laughs> Ravens, and on God we win in a Super Bowl. But Cap busts through this wall, and he starts to catch up to Bucky, and he sees him drop down, so he jumps out another window, rolls, and then throws his shield at him. But he turns around and catches yep, that hole guess that that is. Hole and proceeds to throw that shit back at Cap, putting his nigga on skates, and then he just disappears into the night. And then look at Cap run over. This was the first time we seen that this nigga was Captain Saber. He was in a crash out for Bucky Lane. <laughs> so we cut to Fury, and he's flatlined, and he basically dead. Yeah. And I got beef with this nigga, Nick <laughs> Fury. Is it me, or how many times is bro gonna fake his death? I mean, I never saw the day where I thought a live action person would die more than Kenny from <laughs> Seriously. Agent Coulson faking his death in a first Avengers movie just to get yep. these niggas a Zenkai boost. And I ain't gonna lie, that shit yep. So Cap and Natasha leave out the room and Cap trying to spit game again. And now Cap down 0-1 in the series <laughs> since Sharon shot him down. So this NPC walks up to Cap and he like, NPC? They want you back as shield. So Cap like, okay, just a second. And instead of leaving right there, this nigga still standing here talking about some, they need you now. So what? Cap turn around hmm. like, what? Okay, Crossbones. don't you see me trying to cook my nigga? Like, <laughs> show her what else that super soldier serum grew. But Natasha like, <laughs> that feel you? And then I look at my <laughs> that feel you? Got the hands on the hips, he's depressed as hell. The ambulance finna come get this nigga like, Damn, gang, what happened to this nigga? Dog, the streets say he lost two holes in one day. They said <laughs> the nigga body couldn't take the constant rejection. But they <laughs> just had to take his ill. You know how niggas be when they lose their first <laughs> Yeah, man. I can't eat! I'm broke, nigga! I'm broke! 
And you got the power to change that, Kev. So we skipped it. I've already taken by the way, the movie. <laughs> It's the, it's the name for the movie that just popped out. That's an old movie, so with Bow Wow and Branchy Jackson. Cap exit in a room talking to this 100-year-old James Gordon-ass nigga. Hey. He like, I'm gonna find out whoever killed my friend. And anyone that gets in my way is gonna regret it. Anyone. That kindergarten-ass girl. Well, right, just know, bro, was one of them kids that was like, you don't want to see my bad side. When I get mad, I see Rand. You are a loser. <laughs> it's simple. Accept it. Move on. And then this. we see Cap entering this elevator and yep. he's looking out the window. And these three niggas in black jumpsuits come in. So Rumlo starts yapping, trying to keep Cap unsuspicious. But this dumb nigga clutching his taser already. And then about six more people in suits hop in the elevator again. Yep. So Cap must have smelled a disgust in the air because he instantly looks at this black man and. Yo, what the fuck? That stare gotta have some animosity behind <laughs> animosity. him. This nigga is sweating profusely. Like, bro, it's no Yeah, he finished, bro. Soon to be coming. And then Cap. Queso, Los Polos, and Queso. in the front oh. hop on the elevator. And if it was really Queso on that elevator, it would have been GG. It would have been a oh my God. in America. Right here. And Cap's spidey senses must have been tingling because bro was just like, Before we get started, doesn't want to get out. Does anyone want to get out? And I ain't gonna lie, them words would have made me leave. Right yeah, real, real stuff, bro. That, and then these niggas started jumping the fuck out of Cap. He hits the emergency stop, and then this Kurt Angle looking ass nigga got my yes. chokehold. And then this two niggas trying to cuff my boy. So he overpowers them, kicks bro in the middle, and then throws this nigga into a wall. Elbows the black man, and then kicks bro in the chest. Throw punches this nigga right here, yeah. and then hits bro with a mean left. Yeah. And that nigga looking at the view outside like it is. And then his Stupid. head bounces off the window like a basketball. And I guess Cat was just like, uh, I think we ain't done yet. <laughs> you, but you personally, I, I think, think we ain't, ain't done, done yet. Because he headbutts bro behind him and throws that nigga off his shoulder. Bro kicks Cat's arm mm. into the wall, and then this nigga starts cooking him with one arm. He elbows Rumble in the face, mm. grabs bro, and throws his ass at the camera, Damn. making him bounce off that hole. Then he grabs bro's arm, making him shock his homie, giving him that friendly fight. Cat eats a gut punch, and then throw chops buddy right there, and then double kicks both of his mm. ass mid air. And then to finish off this mean ass combo, he cook it up. He grabs bro's arm mid punch, and then Bruce Lee kicks this nigga in the jaw. This yes. nigga climbs up the wall, and then backflips off that hole. Hits bro yeah. with an elbow, mm. throws mm. under the punch, uppercuts this nigga, and then grabs the other dude and throws his ass into the elevator. Damn. No one of them niggas wanted yes. to get off the elevator. When they woke up, they was probably like. <laughs> so Romo gets up and he trying to parlay with Cap, but then he started shocking my nigga. But the energy shifted so fast because this nigga hits him with the right and then grabs yep. his ass and throws him into the ceiling. No, nah, gang, I'm yeah. not even sure this video should be about Bucky. <laughs> And then this nigga kick flips his shield up into his arm, and now all of shield is on his ass. So Cap proceeds to jump through this window, fall through another building, and land on his shield. And then my nigga casually flies out of the compound on his motorcycle. And then a jet appears out of nowhere, so it's looking grim for my nigga. Until he just throws his shield like a Beyblade, and then yeah. one shot they instant. And then this nigga flips over them, grabs his shield, and then he almost catches fall. That he <laughs> proceeds to do a front flip up, and then throw his shield at both thrusters, jump off, and then land clean as hell. Mm. That superhero landing clean was hell though. That superhero landing was clean. And crashes and then look at Cap. This. So we skip and we see Sam kind of knock at the door and it's Natasha and Cap and they are dirty as hell mm. and that's because Hydra tried to drop a cruise missile on they ass but they survived mm. and got up out of there and then we skip to the present and they had Sam House running up his water bill and shit and then Steve, mm. Natasha, and Sam plan to kidnap this Richard Jefferson ass nigga for Richard Jefferson. we skip to him on the phone with who he think is Alexander Pierce but it's actually Falcon then he on the phone like hey you Jeffrey Dahmer Glass where is this <laughs> be a car around the corner go get it and why would I do that? Because for a nigga that tile look really expensive. <laughs> Bro, it shook as fuck, his whole energy shift. So we cut to them in a the car, and this nigga Bucky jumps on top of the car, pulls this nigga out, and yeah, throws him out, yeah. into a semi truck. Mm. And while he's on top of the car, he starts airing that bitch out. So Cap puts that bitch in park, sending a winter soldier flying. Mm. And while Bro on the highway mm. pulls in this big ass home, he comes from behind and smacks they ass and starts pushing them into Bucky. So this nigga jumps on they hood, reaches through they windshield, and pulls off the nigga whole steering wheel. Bro, even Sam is looking at this nigga like, Come on, man, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing, cuz? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it's looking like GG's for them. You in a car with no steering wheel? Yeah. So they hit the car again, sending that motherfucker tumbling, and somehow Cap, Falcon, and Black Widow was able to fit on mm -hmm. one door. So yeah, somehow. Tumbling and Cap and Natasha on that. <laughs> Some boy. 
<laughs> then this nigga right here proceeds to hand bucket a grenade launcher and then he shoots that bitch right at Cap sending that nigga oh. bounce off the car roof into a bus. Damn. Damn, bro, I know y'all probably thinking, man, ain't no way it can get worse than that. But the same bus that Cap flew into gets hit by a truck yep. making him flip. This is crazy. Man, this nigga Cap cannot catch a break. We cut back to Bucky and his minions walking these niggas down. And this nigga just launches a grenade at Natasha and this nigga Falcon just leaves her there to the back. <laughs> So this nigga shoots a nade at her ass and she jumps off the bridge and grapples onto the wall and swings down. And then Bucky starts searching the area and then out of nowhere this nigga gets shot in the face and he takes off his glasses and bro look mad as hell. And you can see the crash out symptoms on this nigga. <laughs> right so this nigga gets up and looks down and starts praying. We know Shorty only got two moves, the Ray Mysterio and two Glock. Ray Mysterio, so these niggas niggas cool, huh? down and they pull out a minigun and start evaporating the bus that Cap is in and turning that bitch into dust. So Cap jumps out the side and is ricocheting they bullets back into it. And bro, he's using high ground to his advantage, so Cap starts rushing in, rolls. That scene was tough when Cap was using the shield to go against the, the guy with minigun. That was tough. Over this man back, grabs him and mm. slams him into the roof, leaving a human-sized mm. dent on top. And then we skip the Bucky, and this nigga is in the streets tweaking, looking for Natasha. So bro oh, rolls a yeah. nade to the other side of the car, making it blow up. But he ain't no shit for the sneak clan, because she pops out of nowhere, kicks this nigga gun away, and jumps on his neck and tries to strike with the wire. But he like, stupid, I'm not going to let you get chance. the chance. And then this nigga throws her ass into a Damn. car. And hold up, nigga, who edited this shit? Must have been the same four people from the Madam Web. <laughs> Because Tommy throw her at a minivan and she landed on a Camaro. Like, Wait, what? What? His ass and just runs away, but he like, that really happened in the movie? I didn't notice that. There's no way out of this one. You're done. You're done. And while she running, she booms her ass mm. and then pops Rise, up out of nowhere. And he finna end her shit, but then Cap that save a whole run. <laughs> save a whole run. And then shield, and we get this clean yeah, ass run. But he swings that shot. way and jar kicks Cap and then starts shooting his ass while he rolled up in a ball. But he starts shooting at him while he running around the car. And then he runs out of ammo hey. and Cap like... Mm. Time. Cause he jumps over the car, kicks that nigga arm and Bucky starts shooting his ass again Until he gets hit with a knee right and he goes to hit Bucky with a shield But he gets caught and he's a dub punch and then another right hook And then Bucky grabs his shield, flips him and then this nigga starts cooking him with his own shield he hits him in a four ball and then throw chops that nigga across the street And he's standing there like, yeah, I'm Captain America now So Cap like, I'm fucked up, I'm fucked up and then Cap runs up to him and Bucky throws his shit at him we? and he dodges. And then they start getting into it. It's that shit that had my 10 year old ass in the theater. Yeah, it's crazy. Cap blocks a low and a high nigga got that wax on wax off technique. And then Bucky goes for the overhead we? and a left, but Cap blocks that shit. And Bucky flips his knife in the air and goes for the overhead Ooh. again, but Cap blocks it again and then blocks the low. And then he grabs his arm, pushes him, and then dodges the right and then the left. And then he hits his ass with the right and then a and then Cap like, uh, yeah, I'm not finished. Cause he runs in and hits this nigga with a flying knee from the top I'm right. Pissed. Goes for the right, gets caught, and then Bucky blocks his ass, and then he gets tossed to the ground. But Bucky grabs his ass and he strangles this nigga. He pulls him in and he like, you know how to fly, right? Pissed. And then he throws his ass over the car. He jumps on the car, then off it for no reason at all. Pissed. And then he tries to take on Cap's head, but he rolls up on there and they start boxing casually. And then this nigga Bucky throws him to the ground, kicks him, and then uses that robotic ass arm. We? To fillet the band And then Cap grabs this nigga from behind Pause And then he takes that nigga straight to Suplex <laughs> City, And then hits the chain special with his clean ass kip up He grabs his shield and they start boxing But Cap blocking him hard So Bucky hits him with the right And then mm. tries to kick him in the dick <laughs> What did you just say? Like? I heard that right too. Oh, yeah. and who was this nigga aiming for? Yao me? But he grabs Yo, the arm and spin a rip that bitch off. But he overcuts him with the head, spins around his back, grabs his throat, and then flips the nigga over his shoulder. And this is where the Bucky dick riding began. Because he finds out all along that the Winter Soldier has been his best friend, Bucky. So Cap like Bucky? And who is Bucky? Like, who the fuck is Bucky? Yes. I mean, that CTE was really kicking his ass. But this nigga Antonio Brown and Floyd Mayweather and yes. Stella B, them niggas gonna be out there like me, Mayweather. That my Tyson. I love blue, green, purple, and eyes. Is Antonio oh God. And we come from Patton and this year CTEs beat all the spell. When we come back to the fight and this nigga pulls his gun out on uh. top, but Falcon comes in and oh. kicks the. Oh. I know I meant to pause it earlier, but I was want to go through. But yeah, Captain America Soldier had had so so much.
so many awesome action scenes, man. I mean, I'm so glad the Russo Brothers come back with the Avengers, man. I mean, damn, man. This is the type of action scenes I want to see in Brave New World coming out. I want to see this type of action right here. This nigga, he gets up and starts crashing out again, and he's gonna blow the cap, but Natasha shoots a grenade at his ass, and then he disappears into the daylight. So he <laughs> skipped a bucky in the chair, and he remembering his past. And I know the nigga that was in charge of reapplying his CTE was mad as fuck. He had to kill him back like Tom Brady from his retirement. I'm sorry to tell you guys this, but I have to retire. It's time to focus on my family now. Three hours later. Fuck them kids Sorry. and my ex-wife. If I come back, you gonna join me? Yeah, man. I'm gonna I am the fucking dude, and then Bucky wakes up tweaking and backhands this doctor into the wall, and then Alexander Pierce comes in and bitch out this nigga for no reason, but that shit did not face him at all. He was just like, the man on the bridge, the one that was dressed like a stern father figure. <laughs> he is he, and y'all know that nigga do not want him to know who Cap really is, so they lay my boy back down and reapply that crash out and CTE shit is basically the same shit Chase had when he turned into Spike. And then we skip to this guy saying we're the only air support Captain Rogers got. And then they shit get blown up, and then Bucky walking them down shooting nades at their ass. So bro runs up and he finna throw a frag at this nigga, but Bucky shoots him and runs and grabs the frag off the ground. And throws that shit in the back of a jet. Damn. Somebody tries to shoot him, but he get blocked by his left arm. And then this nigga winds up a wild right and then rocks this nigga. Ooh, you know he did. Dead. And then the shit don't stop there. This nigga Sparta kicks bro into a jet engine. And Damn, man. Remember when I said this should be a cat video? <laughs> this is. Never mind. No. Nope. <laughs> and then he takes off in the jet up to the helicarrier. So Cap is finna get his ass blown up. So he calls Falcon for a ride. And then he proceeds to jump off the side of the helicarrier. But then Falcon catches him and they back on the ground. And he like, God damn, you heavier than you look. And then Cap like, nigga, you always look like you look to me. And then Buggy comes out of nowhere and trucks Cap ass off the helicarrier. And then Falcon starts acting like a groupie because he like, I just know Dr. Umar was somewhere sick watching this. But bro. Tries to jump off and Bucky grabs his ass oh. with one arm Took his and throws his ass into the air. So Falcon brings out his Uzi, but this nigga has to be half stormtrooper because he can't eat for shit. So Bucky mm. starts camping and Falcon like fuck it and flies away. He grabs this nigga, wind, pulls him down, rips that bitch off and runs up and kicks this Damn. nigga off too. And now my son free falling. And if it wasn't for that reserve shoot, this nigga would have been looking like plankton. Yeah. So we finally <laughs> get to the fight we've been waiting for the crash out versus the groupie. So Cap trying to do all that. Parlaying, but Bucky is staring into this man's soul. He's straight locked in. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. not your friend anymore. So Cap throws his shield and it gets blocked. And Bucky starts to shoot at my boy. But Cap is well versed in shield techniques. Except this nigga catches one in the gut and Ooh. then Cap clocks this nigga in the head with his shield, mm -hmm. sending him flying. Bucky whips out his handy dandy knife and they start mm -hmm. getting after it. But Cap not taking his ass serious because he doing side quests mid fight. So they've been fighting for a minute, none too crazy. And then this crash out gets tired of them fighting equal. So he tackles this nigga. For the second time today, <laughs> over the ledge, Cap hits him with the right, and then he bitch slap this nigga into a front flip, and then follows him sliding down. And he grabs that nigga hand, and twists that hole, and then Cap hits his ass with an elbow, and then kicks this nigga over the ledge. And then Cap starts running after this car, but this nigga grabs his shoe and throws down his back. And then he pulls out his Glock, and Cap picks up his shoe. And why every time Bro finna get shot, his shoe just magically flies into the hand. That plot armor been putting in overtime for his ass, but Cap throws his shield and. Bucky oh, like that weak shot out of here. And then goes in for his neck. And then he uses Weep. that bionic arm to stab ah. Cap in the chest. But Cap's head busts his ass twice. Like, nigga, you're not better in his condition. Yes. You're worsening it. And then Bucky yes. throws his ass at the wall. And then for some reason, he goes for this car. And Cap grabs him and is choking his ass. Got that nigga feet dangling in the air like he shit he has. Yes. And then he slams this nigga on his back. And he like, let that shit go on my snap, yo shit. But Bucky brain is fried. Nigga got Aaron Hernandez level C. Yes. He's not dropping that shit. So Cap snaps his arm and then proceeds to strangle this nigga until he passes out. So Cap still focused on the mission. So he flips up here for no reason. And then Bucky like, oh, you thought I was done? And then he shoots this nigga in the leg. But he keeps moving while Bucky is turning this nigga body into a switch team. He goes to put the card in a slot and then get shot in a gut. And look at the face of this nigga. Do he look like a mentally stable person? But Cap gets up in time to save the world. Congratulations. And then they start to blow up the entire helicarrier. And per usual, this nigga goes to save Bucky cause he's trapped under scrap metal and then Cap is like you know me and he like no, I
Like, hey, dang, yo, he just up? saved your life. That's some decorum. And Cap trying to explain to him that they've been locked in since they was young, but the CTE is corrupting this nigga, bro. <laughs> and then he hits him with a back hand, so Cap, hey. like, I'm not gonna fight you. And what? then he drops his shield, Damn. and this nigga tackles him for the third time today and starts wailing on this yeah. guy, like, literally beating Cap into a cup with his suit the metal on him. And then something Cap says trigger his memories, but scrap metal comes down, and this nigga falls into the wall. Yeah. Yeah. And we skip and we see Bucky saving his old friend life and then he just walks away. And I hope y'all don't think this the end of this crash out story. Nope. I know I said I was gonna do this all in one full part on a pole, but this shit would have been long as hell. So hmm. that means part two coming soon. And with all that being said, I'll see y'all next week. Maybe. <laughs> Def can't wait for that. This was <clears throat> This is a hilarious recap cast, but it's one of your best recaps, man. But yeah, I know, like I said, I've reacted to a bunch of, you know, Captain America Winter Soldier recasts, but I like to see people's impressions on these kids. This was hilarious. This is absolutely freaking hilarious. I love this type of content right here, man. But yeah, Captain America Soldier, definitely one of the greatest superhero movies of all time, seriously. For me, honestly, for me, Winter Soldier felt felt MCU was going through a different phase, like a more, much more serious tone. That's what I love about this, you know, a much more serious and dark tone of the MCU as a whole, man. It's like, damn, man. It's like, damn. It, Winter Soldier hit different for me when I first saw it 10 years ago. I'm like, man, it feels crazy. But yeah, like I said before about the month of Comic Con, yes, Robert Downey Jr. is officially back as Doctor Doom, holy ish. And the Rooster Bird is back with, directing the next Avengers movie, um, Doomsday and Secret Wars. And yeah, man, it was an interesting, very, very interesting Comic Con as I saw it. So, yeah, I know a lot of people are very, very mixed about it. Very divisive on Robert Down Jr.'s return. So, yeah. Overall, this was a W recap cast. Where he with a great word. I cannot wait to see your part two review. Or recap, excuse me. Recap. So, Hot Squad, I'm going to call it quits for today. I know I have a lot to get through this entire week of the previous Hot Banger reactions I didn't get a chance to do. But overall, like I said, I'm finally back with doing Hot Banger reactions this entire week. I'm going to catch up a lot, a lot of recaps and trailers. And going to mix it up because I'm not going to do only recaps and trailers. I'm going to do some different videos as well very soon before I go hit back to my college semester coming in two and a half weeks. So, Hot Squad, that's my conclusion of my reaction to Casper's Captain America and Social Recap. So, you enjoyed this, please. Hit that button and share your thoughts. How old was you? We saw Captain America Soldier 10 years ago. Um, it's Captain America Winter Soldier is right up there with your top 5 favorite superhero movies of all time. Best MCU movies or top 10, whatever. So, overall, this is a great recap. W recap, Casper. Keep up the great work with these, man. Keep up the great work with these. So, Hot Squad, this is your man, Horse Hot sign up for today. I will continue my Hot Banger Marathon tomorrow, of course. I'm going for the recaps first, then I'm going to do the trailer, so make it easier for me. So, Hot Squad, safe out the sky. Peace out. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow for more Hot Bangers. And I will see y'all later, and goodbye.